So it is a moral obligation for every member of the House of Representatives to address this issue. For 124 years, Puerto Rico has been a colony of the United States, and that impacts the daily lives of Puerto Ricans, whether it is the bankruptcy uh, that they're dealing with, uh, the earthquakes, uh, the power grid, so many issues. Uh, the state of the uh, public education system in Puerto Rico. So look, we have large concentration of Puerto Ricans in Florida, 1.2 million in Pennsylvania, in Ohio, every state that is becoming a battleground state, there is a big concentration of Puerto Ricans. And believe me, they're going to be knocking on their doors to right the wrongs of the colonial um, situation and status of Puerto Rico. We okay. cannot keep this colonial state limbo that we have been subjecting the people of Puerto Rico for so long. It strikes me that you have this, which is considered sort of huge and historic, just the fact that this actually got a vote, that it actually passed. And now you pivot to the U.S. Senate, where it, it, it just doesn't seem as though it has a path forward. And I wonder if you disagree with that assessment and if you could sort of walk us through uh, how you see this playing out. Well, uh, first and foremost, the historic vote that we took in the House, it really set the precedent of what is it that the Congress is willing to accept, they define the political options, establish and lay out in detail the transition process and implementation under each option. And now this is a wealth of information that the Senate could use. And we are going to have to be requesting meetings with Senator Chuck Schumer and Mitch McConnell. And let me remind uh, the Republican, my Republican colleagues in the Senate and in the House, in the GOP platform, they support statehood. But when you hear the, the debate in the, during the markup in the Committee of Natural Resources, not a single Republican voted for, um, for the legislation. And basically what they say, that they reject the statehood for Puerto Rico, that they will not support the statehood for Puerto Rico. Yet, in the GOP platform exists their support for statehood for Puerto Rico. So we're going to call them out. And they got to uh, come clean and tell the people of Puerto Rico and their constituents here, whether it's Florida, Ohio, Pennsylvania, North Carolina, Georgia, you're going to tell 5 million Puerto Ricans who live in the United States, what is it that they are willing to do on the issue of uh, colonialism? 